Diary's Letter from Alan Moore and David Lloyd's Fever Vendetta. I don't know who you are. Please, please. There's no way I can convince you that this is not one of their tricks. But I don't care. I am me, and I don't know who you are, but I love you. I have a pencil, a little one they did not find. I am a woman. I hid it inside me. Perhaps I won't be able to write again, so this is a long letter about my life. It is the only autobiography I will ever write. Oh God, I'm writing on toilet paper. I was born in Nottingham in 1957, and it rained a lot. I passed my 11 plus and went to girls' grammar. I wanted to be an actress. I met my first girlfriend at school. Her name was Sarah. She was 14 and I was 15, but we were both in Mrs. Watson's class. Her wrists, her wrists were beautiful. I sat in biology class, staring at the picket rabbit fetus in a jar, listening while Mr. Hurd said it was an adolescent phase that people have grown. Sarah did. I didn't. In 1976, I stopped pretending. I took a girl called Christine home to meet my parents. A week later, I moved to London, enrolling at Drama College. My mother said I broke her heart. But it was my integrity that was important. Is that so selfish? It sells for so little, but it's all we have left in this place. It is the very last inch of us, but within that inch we are free. London. I was happy in London. In 1981, I played Dandini in Cinderella. My first rep work. The world was strange and rustling and busy, and invisible crowds behind hot lights and all that breathless glamour. It was exciting, and it was lonely. At nights, I'd go to the Cruins or one of the other clubs, but I was standoffish and didn't mix easily. I saw a lot of the scene, but I never felt comfortable there. Many of them just wanted to be gay. It was their life, their ambition, all they talked about. And I wanted